all the words are staged by William Shakespeare. Let's check what are the different figures of his speech. Those have been used by the William Shakespeare in this poem. Metaphor is the first one. As we all know, metaphor is a figure of speech in which we compare to unlike ideas without using like or as. All the words are staged by itself when we talk about it, the very first line. Explanation, this is basically here the poet has indirectly compared the world to the stage of the theater. So this is the example of what this world's well, stage is the example of metaphor. They have their exist and entrances. Again, this is the example of metaphor. Uh, the poet has indirectly compared deaths and life or to exist and the entrances. So uh, all the world's stage, the world's stage here, this is the example of metaphor and then exist and entrances. Uh, have been compared with the with what death and life. Shakespeare uses the stage as an extended metaphor. Extended metaphor is a metaphor which is used throughout the uh, work or the poetry, right? So that's why this is called extended metaphor. Then the next um, figure of speech which is used in the poem is simile. We all know simile is comparison between to unlike ideas with the use of like or as. So our first example is creeping like a snail. Uh, creeping like a snake is the example of simile. The poet has used a direct comparison between the schoolboy and the snail. And the next example is sign like a furnace. Again, this is an example of simile. The word like is here. The word sign denotes the sound of a lover's deep breath, which is similar to that of the furnace. Then sign like a furnace with a powerful ballad again, uh, like. So that's why this is the example of simile. Transfer epithet. Transfer epithet is when an adjective usually used to describe one thing in transfer to another. And when we talk about an epithet, it is a word or phrase which describes the main quality of someone or something. For instance, a happy person. So happy is basically what? It is the quality of someone or something mean for a person. So epithets are usually adjectives like happy that describes a noun. Like, like what? Like person. So example from your um, poem, Saying like a furnace with a powerful ballot. This is the example of what this is, though we have discussed it earlier under the example of simile, but at the same time, we can find out that powerful ballot. This is here uh, in this line, wow, a powerful ballot. So, powerful is, is basically adjective, which is describing the ballot, right? So, epithet powerful has been transferred from the lover to the ballot. Another example is youthful has well saved a world too wide. So here, if we take the, this example, um, youthful horse. So this youthful is basically adjective, which is describing horse, right? So epithet youthful has been transferred from the old man to horse. Anomatopia. Enomatopia means the mimicry of sound. When we mimic the sound of others, this is called onomatopoeia. Sang like a furnace, here the word sang denotes the sound of a lover's deep breath, which is similar to that of the furnace. So um, it can come under the um, under the heading of anamatopia as well. At first, the infant mewling and fucking in the nurse's arm. Here, the mewling denotes the sound of the cry of an infant. So mewling is the example of anamatopia. Pipes and whistles in his sound. So again, whistles. This is what example of anamatopia. Then repetition. Repetition means anything, any word, any line which has been repeatedly used in the poem 
or in the work that is called repetition like sense teeth sense eyes sense taste sense everything so this word sense has been repeated for poetic effect so that's why this sense is the example of repetition so what is repetition repetition of word phrase or a line that is repeatedly used or used twice or thrice times that is the example of repetition anaphora when we talk about anaphora it is the repetition of words or phrases in a group of sentences clauses or poetic lines right anaphora is what it is the repetition of words or phrases in a group sentence clauses or poetic lines and usually it is found in the beginning of the lines of the poetry for example if we take the example of it is used in eighth and ninth line uh, this is example from the poem till and then the winning school boy with his subtle and shining morning face creeping like a snail so here if you focus these two lines have been started from the same word that is and and so this is the example of the anaphora alliteration what is alliteration everyone knows that alliteration is the repetition of consonant initial consonant sound within a line alliteration is what occurrence of the same letter sound at the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words for instance coca cola kk donald duck dunkin donut dud now in the exam in the poem the examples are his shang shang sha sha quick in coral quaqua quick qua so please alliteration is what alliteration means the repetition of initial consonant sounds within a line and all the men and women are merely player again this is the example of alliteration here the sound of a is repeated for poetic effect inversion let's see what is inversion a reversal of or the reverse of position order form or relationship such as a change in normal word order especially the placement of a verb before its subject uh, the process or result of changing or reversing the relative position of the notes of a musical interval chord or phrase like this example and one man in his time plays many parts explanation is here the order of the words has been changed the correct order is and one man plays many parts in his time but if you focus it is not written in the poem in this manner so that's why this is the example of inversion when a change in normal word order especially the placement of a verb before its subject or the process of of or result of changing or reversing the relative positions let's check another example with eyes severe and beard of formal cut here the order of the words has been changed for poetic effect the correct order is with severe eyes and formal cut beard so here you can see again the order is changed that's why this is the example of inversion imagery i think imagery is familiar among everyone or in simple it relates to images the poem is full of imagery some examples are all the world is stage if you think about it so stage world and all the men and women merely players these all basically making different type of images mewling and pucking in the nurses arm full of imagery winning school boy 
creeping like a snail unwillingly to school bearded like the park sense teeth sense eyes sense taste sense everything these all are the examples of imagery those have been used in the poem these lines are some of the examples from the poem all the words are stage these lines make the reader imagine the scene that the poet is imagining so basically these are the uh, example of what imagery thank you